Hello guys, welcome back to Hari Academy. Did you feel any difficulty while attending your direct taxation paper? And don't you know how to present your paper? Then watch this video till the end. And after that video, you will be able to know how you need to present your papers. So in this paper, I have scored 61 mark, which is slightly below as per my expectation as I have written my exams. Okay. I am expecting somewhere around 70, but some of the mistakes I committed. So I score 61 around. Okay. In this first part, what you need to do while attending your choose, it is two options for you. Either you can attend it first. First, you can attend the choose or else leave a page and then move on to a questions. After that, come back and present it. There is a one way or start with question number two itself. And write it, choose the best answer, fill labs, match as far as old syllabus is concerned. For new syllabus is completely choose the best answer. You can write it at last. Okay. It is up to you how you need to going to present your papers. Like the same way you need to write it here 1A and again answer to 1A. If it requests, you can write it in center space also. Then choose the best answer. Even in some of the question papers, they have mentioned that write only this Roman letter along with only the options they will tell. If they tell specifically, go with that approach. Go with the same steps. If they didn't specify anything, you can write this part also. Okay. It is 6 out of uh, 10. It is good. And one B master following is master following is same thing five out of five you can you can also score easily five out of five and true or false it's up to you it's depend on the cases how you learn the concepts so it is also you can score five out of five and filling the blanks it's around two marks that's not an issue so out of which minimum target I have scored only eighteen but your minimum target if you are a whole syllabus students it should be twenty out of twenty five for new syllabus. It is 24 out of 30. It should be your minimum target. Okay, minimum target in MCQ is that. Then only you can easily score exemption. If you score only 10 marks or 12 marks or 14 marks in MCQs, you will be held in a trouble. Okay, and everything start with a new page. Start in a new page that will give you more presentation for a validator. It, it will more the work of a evaluator will becomes more easy. Then answer to question 2A that based on residential question, any type of residential question, you should write the determination of the residential status in the following independent cases. After that, first you need to write down all the provision you need. All the provision which is for that independent cases request, you need to write down all the provision. As per the provision 182 days, 365 days, 60 days criteria, and then you need to write down. If a person wants to satisfy additional two conditions, what are those additional two, two conditions? And you should use the word and I specifically write it in capital letters. Okay. Then now coming to cases, everything I have underlined only on the pen. I never use the pencil except the uh, closing part. After each and every completion of question, that too, when I get the time at last, then only I will draw a line. Then in the independent cases, as best stage in India, that period, what's the conclusion? Don't write simply write that resident and ordinary resident. Albert is a resident or ordinary. Don't write that. Try to explain the cases and then only you will get marks. Okay. The same thing, second cases. And question third case. Three independent cases we have discussed. They have given eight out of eight marks. Okay, that's a good mark. 2B, 2B is regarding the house property, and that you need to write it down in center. Computation of income from house property for assessment year. Write it like this. Don't simply write down computation of income from house property. Write this year, which year you are calculating. That is more and more important, correct? And you are coming with more hours. This rupee symbol is mandatory, whether you come with rupee symbol or not. Then gross value or parent, whichever is higher. If you want to indicate, you can write down the symbol and you can write down this lower symbol. Okay, and the municipal taxes. Deduction, if you want to write a section number 24, 24A I have written, 24B I have written. I, I, I will, what are the section numbers I will remember? I will be able to present it in my paper. 
and if there is any note request you can also give it in notes also okay this question is for i think so this question is around 7 marks they have given 4.5 marks good then answer to 3a again income from salary of which person three minus for which year like this you need to write and then two rupees column you need to present and income from salary the final answer suppose this question let's assume i don't know exactly what marks it is suppose let's assume it is seven mark question seven marks the final answer will get one mark the remaining six marks is for the steps you have done if that one step is corrected you will given with one mark if the next step is corrected you are given with one mark if the next step is corrected you are given with one mark if the next step is wrong you would be directed by one mark like this you are having step marks also so make sure your presentation should be good manner basic salary dearness allowances and bonuses and all everything you can return prerequisites everything you can return and deductions, I know section number that is 16.1a, that is deductions under the section, entertainment allowances, professional taxes, whatever section number you remember, that you will be able to present it in your paper. Okay, then 3b, state the following in agricultural income or otherwise. Then in the eight independent cases they have given, we need to present it. It's a eight mark question, so we will be able to get seven out of eight marks. Then. 8A, clubbing of a mind cell is a direct theory question. Whatever we studied, whatever we will be able to understand from that provisional part, we will be able to present it in our papers. For that, you need to write it like this. And then clubbing of a mind cell should be in a capital letters, which will look nice and it will look good also. Then you need to write down these points. I have done one, two, three. You can also put bulletin points also. That is also welcome. You can also use the bulletin. Okay. They are given 5 out of 4 out of 5 marks. They have given. And even though I have ample of spaces, I have start my every new answer on a new page. On a new page. Okay. A and B. Because you are paying money for writing your answers. Correct. Each and every student is paying 1200 for per group. Correct. Even though you scored exemption, even though you are going to write it for only two papers, okay, even though you are paying 1200, correct, then use the pages as per your choice. Okay, and one more thing, this December 2023 attempt is going to be more and more, more and more crucial for those who are writing in whole syllabus. Suppose the happy and the sad part I will tell. The sad part first I will tell. The sad part is Suppose, if you going to write it to your group 1 in December 2023, you scored exemption in direct taxation. But what you scored exemption in, I am only talking about whole syllabus, you scored exemption in paper 7, that is direct taxation. But you had not cleared CMA inter group 1, then this exemption will be no use at all because in June 2024 onwards, it is going to be only new syllabus. In new syllabus, even though you have scored exemption, but you are not cleared that group 1, Okay, you need to write it again paper 7 in new syllabus. But here one more part is, the happiest part is, if we scored, if you cleared group 1 under whole syllabus in December 23, in new syllabus, no indirect taxation paper for you because under the new syllabus indirect taxation is on group one not in group two and here one more happiest part is that suppose you already appeared for group two in whole syllabus 
group two in all syllabus. First thing you not cleared group two. You have not cleared group two. But you scored exemption in indirect taxation paper. Third thing, in December 2023, if you score exemption in paper 7, that is direct taxation, and fourth one, you not, not clear in group 1 also. Now, you have exemption in indirect taxation, you have exemption in direct taxation, you have both exemption. So, even though you have not cleared group 1 and group 2, under group 1, in new syllabus, you will get exemption. You will get exemption. That too, all the exemption is valid for only three consecutive term. Term means June, December, next June, like this. One and a half years, you will only get. This is one case. Okay, there is another most important criteria. If you cleared, if you already cleared group two in whole syllabus, okay, now in December 2023, appear in Group 1, not cleared, Group 1. Then, June 24, you need to write DT also, IDT also. Because even though you have cleared Group 2 under the new syllabus, at that time IDT is your main paper for 100 marks. Even though you have already completed, but as per the criteria under the new syllabus, you need to write it again in direct taxation paper along with direct taxation. So make sure you are focusing. Suppose if you are writing group one, try to clear the group one. Don't focus us on the only direct taxation I need score exemption unless and until you are already having an exemption in indirect taxation paper. Okay. Now, we have went it in some other way, but I want to give us some more clarity. Many of the students are asking me so that I have given the clarity in that part in the video itself. Okay, then this is a team donor property. Whatever I have understood from that part, I have been able to present it in my papers. That's what I have told in each and every video. I never studied for marks. I have studied only to understand the concepts to my knowledge. Okay, whatever it I want to Put it in my way, I will write it in my own way. I will never focus on the books. Institute also never request the books. Uh, same ditto, you need to write it in your papers. None of them will cannot be able to present it. Okay. It be based this adjustment, be this based on a practical experience, what I have get. And apart from the theoretical aspects which I've taken from my material, I will be able to put it in my presentation in my papers and I, have, I think I have, they have given two marks. Maybe that is completely different. In the books, it will be slightly bigger. I will be able to summarize it within six to seven points. They have given two marks, completely fine. Seven B, seven B is regarding a quantum of tax deductible at source. You need to write it down. If time permits, underline it. If does not, you don't need to do it. And in the different independent cases, it will raise. If you remember the section numbers, you can be able to present it in your papers. It is well and good. If you don't remember any section numbers, don't write it. If you are having any misconception regarding the section numbers, don't be able to present it in your paper. Okay. And answer 7A, how to write a total income question, computation of total income of rupees for the assessment year 22-23. And if a question is silent, assuming rupees is a resident and ordinarily resident. What is the income from other sources you are getting? Everything you need to present it. And after that, as for the chart, chapter 6A direction. What is chapter 6A? ADC. ADC, I know the section number, so I will present it today. Interest on savings bank account, I don't know the section numbers at that time. While writing my examination, I never quote it. 
okay workings forms part of your answer so give your time put your efforts for your workings also okay next computation of eligible amount of depreciation under section 22 of the act of abg tanko of a manufacturing activity whenever it's manufacturing activity additional depreciation will comes to a picture so block which block it is blocked at 15 percentage give a heading plant and missionary particulars rupees opening wtv add purchases that gives you some qualifying amount after that qualifying amount less depreciation that depreciation part i have done some mistake for that that part only for this part alone they have directed the marks Okay, for additional depreciation, they have given the mark. For that, closing WDB. Then, computation of depreciation under section 50 of furniture and things are 10%. And here also, you committed some mistake that is 10% per annum. Okay, due to the flow, I have missed it. You can also write down 10% per annum. Okay. So, and then purchases, we will assume, assume put to use is the date of his acquisition if the question is silent. And we will be able to compute it and they have given a max four marks. Okay. So this is what I have written. For that, here, here and there I have committed some mistakes. If I if I spend more time by studying only the theory, I may score extra five marks or six marks. I'm that's what when I it will go now, it will come to I will study all my theory as I will like reading like a newspaper. First time I will read, and then second time I will read, and third time I will read. Like this, I only read my theory part. I never studied and sit and mug up the points. That will not work out for me. That's not the thing which I have learned through my entire career. Okay. So make sure if I can score exemption, you can also score exemption. So make sure you are putting here and there maybe slight adjustments you can need it apart from how I presented my paper. Okay. So make sure you are doing it well. Prepare your exams. And we are also uploading an exam oriented batch. Our faculty is also taking classes for exam oriented batch. That link is also I have given it in the description below. You can also use that and you can get a benefit out of it. So rock your exams well. All the best for your exams. Have a nice day.